My name is Ken Archer. I am Veronica Archer, and we have a nine-year-old son, Martin, um, who has skied with Achieve Tahoe for uh, three seasons now. Uh, so our son, uh, Martin, uh, has epilepsy. He wasn't born with seizures, but then when he was three years old, he had his first uh, grand mal seizure on a camping trip in the Shenandoah. And uh, we were terrified, and a week later he had a second seizure, and we got a diagnosis of epilepsy. And um, we uh, put him on medications that briefly controlled the seizures, uh, but then the seizures broke through the medications. And for the next two years, uh, they were completely uncontrolled. He had um, about 15 to 20 seizures a day uh, for about two years, and all different types. Um, he had grand mal seizures. He had myoclonic seizures, uh, which is uh, where it's like someone shoves you and you fall back. And then he had atonic seizures. And those were the most common, and that's where you drop to the ground. You lose consciousness for a split second, and you drop to the ground. As you can imagine, that took a huge toll on his body physically and um, just on his confidence in yes. his body and uh, on his physical abilities as well as confidence in his physical abilities. Yeah. Um, not to mention the toll that it took on, on us and our ability to allow him to just be a kid and uh, let him play and, and do the things that kids do. Yeah, he wasn't able to have a normal childhood for those two years. He, he wore a helmet with a face mask and his mobility was very tightly controlled. We had tried traditional medication. Uh, Martin failed uh, six meds. Um, none of them worked. Uh, the medication failed him. Rather. The medication <laughs> failed him, exactly. And um, then we learned about uh, a special diet called the ketogenic diet. It's a lot of work. You have to weigh all of your child's food to a tenth of a gram, and all the food has to come from you. That ended up stopping the seizures. Yeah, we started the ketogenic diet uh, four and a half years ago. The seizures slowly started to subside after a couple months, um, and it has actually been three and a half years uh, since the last seizure. Yeah, when the, when the seizures stopped, uh, three and a half years ago, uh, we were by no means out of the woods. He had had thousands of seizures, so he had this cognitive fog, and development really was had been paused for those couple of years. So it was all about rehab from that point forward, um, cognitively, physically, and Martin had to fight for every single um, gain that he made. And it's really remarkable to see how hard he has fought and where he is today compared to uh, when the seizure stopped. So I was born and raised in the Czech Republic um, and winter sports are a big deal because it's winter about six months out of the year. Um, so skiing was always a very big part of my life growing up and um, I had hoped to share that with the rest of my family. Uh, when, when Martin's health uh, took a turn there were definitely times when we just never, you know, we just never imagined doing a lot of things, let alone skiing. And, you know, for many years, we just had to put those dreams on a shelf. So uh, it, it's been really meaningful to be able to share that uh, with my family. What, what, the first time we took him uh, skiing, we were pretty petrified. It was in a small group at uh, North Star. The instructor, who's wonderful, fortunately knew about Achieve, um, and she um, talked to us uh, later on and suggested we look into uh, Achieve. We hadn't heard of it. It was, it was immediately obvious that he loved skiing. Yes. He just needed appropriate support. So uh, we took him to Achieve Tahoe. I'm not sure if you felt that way, but I, I feel like from the minute that we walked into the building and the first interaction, we just we were just able to exhale and relax. Mm -hmm. Just starting, it, it's simple things like starting with their paperwork. Their paperwork was so detailed and asked so many specific questions that are all of the things that we feel the need to communicate, but we were given no opportunity to um, at the regular ski school. 
And the other thing that I remember from that first lesson is that we were sort of trained from the regular ski school to linger and to try to find opportunities to sneak that extra information in. And I just remember the instructor basically looking at us and saying, okay, goodbye. You go. Go. (laughs) We, We got this. And I just... I am pretty sure I cried immediately because I just felt such a sense of relief that he can go and do this really fun thing and he is well taken care of and supported and I can just relax. I don't need to worry. And I know that he will be back and he will be happy and tired just like any other kid should be after a day of skiing. I think the impact that learning to ski has had on Martin, it's it's really hard to quantify because it kind of permeates all aspects of his life, um, honestly. Um, there is the, the physical ability to do a sport, which we never really thought was going to be possible for him. It has definitely given him confidence to do other sports and try other things that are equally difficult. Um, It has also given him the ability to be able to say to his friends in third grade, hey, I went skiing this weekend, um, which a lot of his friends do. And it just it just allows him to just be a regular kid and do things on the weekends that are worth talking about to your friends. That's right. His confidence in his body that he can tell his body to do something that's physically challenging and it, and you know and his body will respond um, that you know most other kids can just take for granted and that was robbed of him by the seizures and he fought to get it back um, uh, with with skiing and um, and then just his self self-confidence more broadly and you see how it's coming out in the schoolyard uh, at his school, um, you know, his, he has more confidence in uh, participating in like ball games and uh, on the schoolyard, and um, and then it's also had a really just great impact for us as a family, um, both in terms of having something that the three of us can do together, um, and he loves that um, as much as we do. It's also the respite that Veronica and I get. Um, from having someone that we can trust uh, with our child, providing any needed medical accommodations. While doing this super fun thing, as opposed to just daycare. It's, it's been wonderful to just, it's, it's, I think it's helped us reconnect as a family, and it's helped the two of yes. us reconnect as grown-ups. Yes, um, that's right. That's right. Because our, you know, when the seizures started our every, every waking moment was, was, was about that. And, um, uh, you know, we can't just have anyone off the street babysit our child. It's the main time that we have together as a couple is when Martin is skiing at Achieve. What I would like to tell other parents is uh, believe in your child and that your child uh, can ski. Your children have fought to overcome all kinds of challenges up to this point. And with the support of Achieve, your children can also uh, overcome challenges to skiing. And uh, they, they deserve that um, because they have been fighting so hard their entire lives. There is an often um, cited quote by Edmund Hillary that says, it is not the mountain that we conquer, it's ourselves. And um, I feel like that's been really true for all three of us. Hillary would know something about conquering mountains since um, he was one of the first few people that um, got to the summit of Mount Everest. And uh, this has been that for us. Uh, and it's, it's changed our life. So um, be brave. Um, Your child can do it. You can do it. I like skiing because it's fun. I like to go in the train park and 
and do the jumps. I love to ski fast. Favorite run is Summit. Which run? Alpine Bowl. I do this to remind me of skiing. I really like talking to Marina. And my favorite instructors are Michael, Camille, and Lauren.